Okay, so this project was really simple. I basically started by taking my Big Shot and um, I used the number two uh, daisy flower petal die and I doubled my paper. I folded it in half so that I would get two of each flower when I ran it through the machine. So I've just pulled those out. And as you can see, this machine cuts just so well. It's so easy to get your, your pieces out. So I have two pieces from each of the die. Okay, now to assemble this, this is really easy, but I'm going to show you. You're going to take the first flower, and you're just going to apply some glue around the circle. And when you take your second flower, what you're going to do is you're going to overlap it so that it fills in the holes um, so you get a nice full. And then you're going to do the same with the next size flower, which was the medium size flower. And again, make sure when you lay it down that it goes and it fills up the inside of those holes. And then I just took the medium or the smaller size flower. So it was two large, one medium, and one small of the flower sizes that you used. And you just layer them. And when you're done and it's all glued together, you should have something that looks like that, a nice full flower. Okay, and then once you have all of your flowers um, together, what you're going to do is you're going to start with the middle section and just take a few of them and start bending the petals up a little bit. You want to give it a realistic look so that the flowers look sort of real. Um, and it doesn't have to be bent a whole lot, just enough to kind of separate it out so that some of the petals come up. And it's probably better to do them one by one so that you don't um, rip them. And like on the back ones, I kind of bent them a little bit backwards just to kind of separate them from that other row, from the large. Now you have several options from here too. You could, before um, you started assembling these, if you wanted to give it a little more color, you could um, sponge it to add some more color and texture to it. Um, I just kind of liked it the way it was, um, so I, I didn't do that. But you could always um, take the edges and, and sponge them just to kind of throw another dimension in there. Okay, now what I... Now what I simply did was once the flowers were all assembled, I took a string of lights and with every other light, I placed the flower onto the light. And I pushed it down just a little bit, not too far, because I don't want it to, to totally go underneath. But And then I just um, I skipped every other light and put a, a flower on each one. And again, just push it down ever so slightly so it goes over that little rift so that the light can shine through. And this would just make a really beautiful decoration if you needed something quick for a pool party this summer or even for Easter to put on a tablescape, a wedding, anything like that. Um, you could coordinate whatever colors that you needed for your special occasion. And it was, it was just something really simple and easy to do. And I just basically took a set of lights I had out in my garage from Christmas, so I'm just kind of recycling. And then again, you just want it down far enough so that it just covers over the top so it's it's not um, all together. Okay, and this is the effect it will have when it's done. These are just four of, you know, of the lights. Um, I have more. I did a, a big long strand, but that will give you an idea of the kind of effect that you'll get. And that was doing every other one. So they could be really pretty on a tablescape, um, hanging from a room for a girl's room if you wanted to add some summer fun to your daughter's room as you're decorating. So really fun and simple project with some things that you already have laying around the house and the daisy dye number two. Thanks for joining me.